I got your wig, I got your wig, ho. Ha ha. You're mad, Miss Wigiana. Did Iraq attack us? No, I'm saying Al Qaeda. Okay. Oh, did Iraq, Iraq attack us, Elizabeth? Iraq did not attack us. Correct. Lizzie. We've been there before. Well, I'm you... saying our enemies, Al Qaeda. Are you hearing that? Uh, I, I, I hear it, but okay, where okay, do you okay, want to go, Bob? This we're is gonna... a political discussion. With right. Don't interview each other. Just if you're, say play, what you if you're mean. playing a game, okay? If you're playing a game, and I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to throw to my wide receiver, wide right, okay? Do you do that? I'm going to do it in two seconds. What does that do for your enemy? Well, you know what, Elizabeth? If the plan. enemy are innocent civilians, I don't want to play that kind of football. The enemy are not innocent Arrest civilians. Arrest him! Attack us! Wait a minute. I am not saying innocent don't civilians are the enemy. Please, let's have a you conversation. Know what, you know what? I don't want to do this, idea. Joy. Now, let me it. tell you why I don't want to do it. Do because it. here's how it gets spun in the media. Rosie, big, fat, lesbian, loud Rosie, <laughs> attacks innocent, pure Christian Elizabeth. Yeah, and I'm not doing it for the rest of the day. I think you that's should, You should watch some of the shows that, you know, you don't I watch. watch. Them. You well, accused me of okay. watching all of those shows yesterday. I'm okay arguing with Elizabeth. You're just as sensitive when I'm hurt as yes. I am when you were. Yes. But every but time you've been hurt, hurt, did I reach why out to you? Why are you hurt by me? Personal. There's a and war going on out there. <laughs> yeah. Is that personal? Why I like watching Dancing with the Stars. What made you go over there? Um, because I went over there and it it was wrong of me in the end to appear on his custody day, but I was really hoping that for the sake of the kids, he would see that I'm saying, look, I'm available and I'm free and I'm their mom. I mean, Girl, doesn't... Girl, please, I showed up at my husband's house all the time going, who is watching my son? Wouldn't you rather be there, you know, with oh, your kids instead of... But, 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 you know, there's a... There, wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry. I understand that. But when you help go into a custody thing right. with someone, and you have your specific time and their specific time, and you're not supposed to walk on. And I'm sorry, that's the I law. That you, I, know that's, the I law. know that that's what the law says. And, but and she, you, you could have gone to jail. Says something different. But, but when wait, you wait, know wait, somebody wait, else you is could have your gone to jail. jail. Do you no. realize that? I, I have learned my lesson, and I learned that it was not a good thing. And I just do need to say that in all of this heat, the kids were not present, and I actually showed up and cried. I didn't even say a word. <laughs> I sat at the gate and just sobbed. And I realized that I was wrong, and it was his custody. Will I do it again? But no. Why... But it doesn't answer to me like a babysitter I've never met or approved but of. You said it bothers he's, he's me. had this babysitter once before. So yeah, did, you the, did you tell the... <laughs> You know, it, but also, it's this is why. Like, but you know what? You don't know what John likes and what he doesn't I don't like. Know what and John I'm likes, saying, but I'm going. I, you know, and I'm saying that his attitude could be the same on something that you seem that you right. feel is perfectly normal. And I think that's and one of the hardest things. You, I think the one of the hardest things is deciding what my motherly heart is saying but seeing us now as two different entities that it's what hard. I am doing, it's he difficult. can give right back. You have a relationship with WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange. He was allegedly kicked out of the Ecuadorian embassy because he was defecating everywhere and creating messes. No, well, that's a smear campaign. And they couldn't, that's not true. There was video of, of things that happened. I, I mean, I don't know. What would you do if you were locked in a room for, just for really quick. six years? Well, I wouldn't be a cyber terrorist, which he is. He's he hacked information. He he's didn't leaks hack. included classified documents that put our national security at risk, our military, you know who and the lives of spies risk and diplomats is the, is at the military. risk. Who, how many people have the, military, the American so, government killed innocently, and how many has WikiLeaks? So you think the military is putting the government at risk? The military has put many innocent lives at risk. Oh, calm down, sir. <laughs> For real, I, I'm actually genuinely there curious about your relationship need to be, with him. There, we have war crimes need to be punished, and they haven't. The, the war crimes that he's exposed, no one's, no one's done anything about it. But they put him in jail to shut him up. Are you talking he is about a, the 210 video of the helicopter right. fire killing civilians in Iraq? Yeah, well, that's one thing, but there's so many other things that he's exposed. And it's not just America he's exposed. Well, he's exposed Russia. He's exposed all sorts of well, different that, countries. That's a controversial area, Russia. A lot of people say that, yeah. uh, that as does the, the Mueller report, uh, they, he, that Assange interfered in the 2016 election by conspiring with Russia yeah. to, uh, by releasing hack, uh, ha emails, hacked emails, right. uh, which hurt Hillary Clinton. It's almost like, is he responsible for giving us Trump? I mean... His yeah, timing and the way well, the timing, he the timing, but you know, Hillary Clinton is responsible for Trump. She's well, the one that she is because though, why, is yeah, he but it's Trump true information. Is he a, but is would, he a no, Trump no, no. Well, I was with would, him. Why a lot he, of people think he why is. Why would he help Trump? Well, he wasn't helping Trump. He was trying to tell the American people true information that Hillary Clinton was doing, so, so they could make an educated choice. Wait and I think FBI kind of put the nail in that coffin. But do you mean yeah. to tell me that he had nothing on Trump? Come on.
and that didn't get released. I don't know. I don't know if he had something on Trump, he would have put it out there. And also, that when he, he has to released her that. emails. I mean, the question they I have though emails. is like, she wrote what would them, you so. say to? I know, but that doesn't mean everything should be. The question I have though is like spies that go out and put their lives at risk, like Congressman Will Hurd, who we were just talking about, who's dedicated you know decades of his life to helping fight terrorism. It's classified information, I believe, is classified for a reason. I do have some faith in the U.S. government, although as a conservative, yes. I have less faith normally than liberals do. So, what would you say to the spies who are putting themselves at risk for our national security? Government with your relationship with him? Well, I don't think he, there's nothing proven that he's actually put anybody at risk. Um, they've, they've gone through this over and over again, and I just, I think that people like Edward Snowden, Chelsea Manning are heroes, and, and uh, Julian Assange is a publisher. Putin also he's, thinks that. But you know, also, Pam, he, <laughs> um, he put people in danger by refusing to redact sensitive information, including, including social security numbers and other private material. Well, I think New York I Times mean, and everybody else put out the same information. I think they actually put it out even before him. I think he, re he redacted more than they did. So, so I so know you it's don't a big think, thing. I, I don't think know. true it's information like is true information. Yes. And I think that, you know, he's obviously, he's, he's gone where no man has gone before. So I guess Just, we're putting him, he's the man in the whale, in whale's mouth. He's the, yeah. he's, you know, trying to set up it so other people can, can um, make sense of it. Because it's a new thing. It's a new thing. So we're, not, we're used to business as usual. What I'd love to know is what, what was he trying to do? What was his point? Because he, he really, he actually did hurt quite a few people. Mm -hmm. He actually did. And I, I, I want to know what did he think he was doing? What, what was the outcome in his mind supposed to be? Well, obviously there's other people probably could speak better for him than me, but he um, just believes in justice, believes in honesty, believes in um, exposing governments for what they're really doing and people have the right to know. Uh, what is happening and there's so many awful war crimes that need to be exposed that you know he really his his whole intention is to stop these senseless wars war is a business it doesn't help us it doesn't help anybody and i think he really a lot of people being in france being in canada mm -hmm. aren't too happy with america and how they meddle into everybody's business and start all these senseless wars but so, he's meddling well, in everybody's business too well he's exposing but he's not saying his I, opinion he's but, giving the information I get that but you would be he's, he's a, a publisher a whistle, i get but, that you consider him a whistleblower well he, he's but a publisher he's also dangerous yeah. but he's a publisher and he's a whistle he publisher and he uh, well, supports he stir, whistleblowers he certainly stirred up a lot in yes. this country yes well that's um, he's a cyber terrorist I, I mean, well, I'll say I it. Uh, the Republican I'll Party. Say it's ridiculous. No. I'm not going right. to stand by this. It's ridiculous. Go We're going to have a little bit of fun next segment. <laughs> yes. Okay, um, that's fine. Pamela no, yeah. Anderson is opinion. sticking around. Uh, we'll be right Start back a lot after of this. Trouble. Rosie O'Donnell made some comments yesterday, um, and she said that she had a little bit of a crush on you, and it was mutual, <laughs> and it was mutual. She said it wasn't sexual, but that you played softball. <laughs> And I'm not sure what that meant, but what did it mean to you? Did... That's the breath of the Holy Spirit. Like, please, Holy Spirit, work through me right now yes. so I don't answer my own mind. Yes. Take a breath. A couple things. So, I... <laughs> Take a breath. This is right. So... <laughs> Lord help me. Um, this is how I believe this needs to be addressed, um, both truthfully and maybe where I wouldn't have addressed it with some grace in years past and haven't, um, I will now. So two things, one, I think what she said was reckless, untrue, and not only insulting, disturbing when it comes to how she felt about somebody in the workplace. That somebody happened to be me, but if you replace what Rosie said and you take her name out and you put in Reuben or Robert, then we would be in a situation where you would see the object, 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 objectification, thank you, objectification mm -hmm. of a woman in the workplace. And that's disturbing because where we may be um, really against that when it comes from a man to a woman, you don't get a pass because you're a lesbian objectifying a woman in the, in the workplace. You just don't. Um, well, she didn't say anything about the way you looked or anything. She just said she had a crush on you. Is that, is that the same thing? I'm just curious. There were words in her statement that said she had intentionally tried to groom me and take me under her wing. Does that mean that brush there was your hair? A, I have no idea. <laughs> but here's the thing. Number one, the feeling was not mutual. Okay. But I did respect her as a co-host and as a person in the office, as I think it should happen in all workplaces. But I think what we're hearing is we should be as disturbed about that um, in this case, as we have been in the fact, if her name was Robert. Secondly, I think what she said about female athletes, mm -hmm. um, if you're an athletic girl and you're competitive and you're gritty and I wore eye black and I slid into second base and if you're a runner or a pitcher or if you, if, whatever basketball, your sport is, anything. basketball, whatever it is, <coughs> it's, 
it's a lie and it's reckless to attach a sexuality to that. And I think it's selfish on her part. And I would say it to my friend. Um, just because you're athletic doesn't have anything to do with your, your sexual preference. It just doesn't. And Good. the third, I would say this. Uh, Elizabeth, Elizabeth. One more thing I would say this. I do feel like, whereas, and I would say this, I, I would call her if I had her number. I tried yesterday. Did you? I, I believe yeah. that above all, like I've been given a lot of grace by God and I mess a lot of things up and I certainly will continue to do so. And so I, I feel like I have the grace of forgiveness um, and that I forgive Rosie. I absolutely forgive her because I was disturbed by what she said and I was offended by it. Um, she has my forgiveness full heart and I really pray that she can just have the peace that she deserves. I re That's my ultimate prayer and there may be some... Um, truth tackling to be done in it, but it's not without the grace that I hope that she's okay. And I hope she, that she's at peace and I hope she and I can get to a place of peace at some point, but more I want it for her than anything else. So cool. that's and all I have about that. All right, let me give an mentioned? example. The mosque, the mosque down here on 9-11. Mm -hmm. That's inappropriate. It's, it's sure. They have a right to do it and, 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 and the constitution, but it's inappropriate because a lot of the 9-11 families who I know say, look, we don't want that. Yeah, that's, that right. shouldn't be that? there. But, but what about the discussion? No, 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 no. But there's the president, right? there's the president going, well, they have a right to do it. Yes. And then the guy this says, and then the guy, well, hold America. it, hold it. Listen to me because you'll learn. Oh. All right? Thank you. <laughs> so he says to the press, yeah, they have a right to do it. And that's true. Yeah. And then the question is, but what about the wisdom of it, Mr. President? And he goes, I'm not going to comment. Whereupon, everybody in the country goes, what? Well, wait a minute. Let Come me ask on. you this. That Let me is ask the you gulf this. Let me ask it. you this. So you're saying that, that Americans are not smart enough to recognize that while it is part of our Constitution to say the freedom of religion and freedom to worship, and there were 70 families who are Muslim, uh, who do buildings. also died in that building. Yeah. So you're saying that we, we, that his saying that they have the right to do it and not it's saying wrong. any more than that is really? why his approval That's rating so is going down. Show, I'm showing that there is a gulf between they w Americans wanted to know what his opinion was on the issue and yeah, he wouldn't fact, give it. We're Americans. That's fire. one, that's we one thing. We agree with him. But you, know, so you, you agree with him. No, Most we're Americans. Americans. I'm an American. Look, let, me, let me break this to you. 70% of Americans don't want that moss down there. We're so don't give me the we do. I want to see that You want to bet on that? You want to bet? I'll show you that poll in a minute. Right? Is that right? American Americans don't want, don't want it But why is that? But why aren't we saying... Because it's inappropriate. Why is it inappropriate when 70% of families died? killed us on 9-11. No. No. Oh, 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 my God. That is... Muslims didn't kill us on 9-11? Is that what you're saying? Excuse me. What religion were they in? What religion was... Mr. McVeigh. Mr. McVeigh was an extremist as well. I'm telling you, 70% of the country... I know it's got to burn your blood. Everybody can be president. He proved it. Go it's got to be really. <laughs> Joy, I know it's got to be really, really hard after uh, you know the last year and a half of all the things that you said about Donald to see him sitting in the Oval Office. I know it's got to be hard for you, but I have to tell you hard. that I know it him. It kills me as a matter. And I know it and does. I love that. But here is here's the great thing. <laughs> You all know him as the president. I know him as a friend. I know his heart. I know the things that he's seen has never been reported on and probably folks won't ever so talk we about. So listen to what he says? I'm talking about my experience, Joy. Yeah. I'm you can listen to what you want. You have decided to continue to hit him and hit him and hit him and not even give him a chance in his first I'm week. I'm waiting for I'm him to I apologize. I, I want to ask you, though. I just, you want who I'm to waiting for him to apologize for all the things he said about you. A, no, no, not please. to me. But I'm not sure why people are upset with him. Yeah, I mean, see, I think people are distorting what he said. And I think that, you know, folks have been talking about population control for a really long time. Right. Um, because there was, you know, there have been global discussions about that. I don't know that people have talked about it under the rubric of climate change. Um, Al Gore has sp spoken about it in right. that sense, but I don't think any Democratic candidate has talked about it. Okay. And so I think that's well, why that, you're but, hearing but the backlash. Is the population one of the biggest 
issues in, in the in the world right it's now? It's actually not. Population when I was in growth college, is on the decline. Right. The world's population is projected to nearly stop growing by the end of this century. And uh, in all, like, clarity, I think people know this, but SD Cup is one of my closest friends, and yeah. I agreed with that. We were actually texting each other when this moment happened in the climate change debate because I do think... Anytime you're talking about population control, if uh -huh. you're a pro-life mm -hmm. person, it, it starts sounding alarms. Because, again, like in China, they enacted a one-child po uh, policy, and now men outnumber women by 70 million in China and India. That's but that's for me, when you're talking about... That's because they were throwing about, their children away. But when you're talking yeah. about... Yeah, I, one of them disgusting. is my sister, by the way, who was but left on the street at two months old. Yeah. 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 No, 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 Megan, you're to your point, though. It's to your point. It's scary what happens when you do that. So you... Well, that's the thing. So you and Essie were... I believe it's a slippery slope towards that. And I do think this dystopian hellhole, nightmarish hellscape that Democrats are putting out, that climate change is just going to end everything to the fact that we're going to have to have population control in this country seems very extreme. Climate change I don't, is real. I, I, I'm not saying it's not real. I'm saying it's not. I don't. I didn't interpret it in the same way that obviously everyone in the Democratic he, Party was. I'm sorry. What he's saying, saying is that women around the world, just like in this country, should have access to birth control and uh, and. Family planning. Uh, and family yeah. planning, which and includes abortion. I, and I, I know, but yeah. when you're that's a whole different thing than when you're talking about population. But it's not eugenics. Right, but eugenics is a we shouldn't different... have children anymore for climate change. That is scary to people. That so just hurts. When, when Prince some... Harry and Princess Sparkle right. only say two children. But here's where we are in politics. Like, bigger picture here with, with politics, it's either President Trump or Bernie Sanders' is nominee. You have him saying things like this, and Tara should have a right to vote. Okay, but here's the thing. But Whatever like he has said, let's be clear about what he is saying. Yeah. Let's not make something up. I'm, I'm, when it's when it's not what he said, because when you bring in eugenics, that's a different conversation. That is the controlling of a population because you don't like the size right. of your nose, or they're too dark, or they have it three, all, or their eyes are blue. But it also yeah. disproportionately yeah. impacts minorities and, and people with disabilities. You eugenics know. doesn't have anything to do with minorities or anybody else. Uh, and I will say this to you also. But, Think about all the women in Ireland who for years just wanted birth control. They just wanted birth control because they live in a Catholic country that said you cannot have it. They were having an insane amount of children. Yeah. What these women fought for and pressed for and marched for and got was, the, and got was mm -hmm. the right to make that decision for themselves. Yeah. I think that's clearly, and that's maybe I misinterpreted it, but when he says, I think especially in poor countries around the world where women do not necessarily want to have large numbers of babies and where they can have the opportunity through birth control to control the number of kids they have, that's something I support. That's different well, than Well, maybe eugenics. it's one of the issues that if you're through the prism of a conservative, you hear it differently from him, and if you're the prism of a liberal, you hear it differently, because when I saw it, I was shocked by what was coming out of his mouth, and clearly everyone else at the table thought it was normal and no, just I in the vein of climate I, I don't, change. I don't think Excuse population, me, I don't think population, I think you need to be careful when you talk about it, but I'm still confused at what that has to do with the question he was asked, which was about climate change. That I don't I'm know. I'm lost in I'm this just, whole population. But it has well, to do with using up the resources of the world. The population you have is on the Can I say a sentence here? <laughs> well, if it's factual, right, yeah, I think I'll play and that I mean, game. And you have a very good point, though. There, there are a lot of Latinos here in this country that do agree that the immigration problem is a problem, and it does need to be addressed, and it does need to be fixed. Interesting. But making uh, those comments, those racist comments, do not help. And, it does, and if yeah. you, if you kick every Latino out of this country, then who is going to be cleaning your toilet, Donald Trump? Oh, that's... No. In the sense that... No. You know what I mean? Like, when no. I'm saying there's that... More, there's more jobs to be... In L.A., they, they always... But, but, but they Latinos don't, are not only the no, only people No, I didn't mean it like that. that. Come on. No, I would never no, mean it like okay. that. Okay. okay. I'm not part of this argument with... I think what you're saying is, is that, that Trump himself he needs to look at probably relies on a lot of these people that he's insulting. I think... You know what? Donald Trump like many people, says a lot of stuff for... Yeah. For Zane. Yeah. John McCain has...
qualification. It's a crappy what say is end. Well, you Separate know what? Can I make one more point? Yeah. Versus your celebrity. Okay, for, all right, whatever. But listen, here's the celebrity Thank McCain. You for my shit. If McCain wants to I do did. a celebrity ad because he has, you know, celebrity envy, then he, he should do this he one. Show the picture. I'm there sorry. he is. Yeah. That's Wilfred Brimley. I feel that that's Who's with McCain. That is the celebrity level. You want to get into friends? You want to get into friends with candidates? Let's talk Resco. Let's talk Reverend Wright. Let's talk Ludacris. Let's talk. Let's go there. No, this is about. This is about. I don't care who's turning on you. I'm just giving my opinion. And this is a free country unless you give the opinion of Let's move on. Let's move on. Let's move on. right now. Oh, really? After the last eight years, you can say that? Really? Don't go there, please. On one opinion, I know I got eaten by what one opinion should be in this country. Listen, you Let's experienced not do it. it. Yes, you I did. And so that. that's not what I'm doing. I'm trying to get this ad out to talk about this ad, whether you think it's good or whether you don't think it's good. Not because he went here. What was wrong with that ad? Is there no other way to do this? John McCain is a great guy. Yes. I like him. But this was beneath him. He is a much better guy than this. And that's what I oh, he used to be. He used to be. He's not anymore. Yes, he is. So you can have to. Well, well, are you going to judge him on this ad? Or are you going oh, you to go in a path to flopper? Major flip flopper. Please. Barack Obama has turned his back on his entire base, which he's he used to get the nomination. He's a George Bush clone, and no you know it. No way. Look at the way. What do you think? You don't like black people anymore? No, I'm not talking about black people anymore. Well, what do you I'm think? Talking about his entire basis. voting base. He he pandered okay. to the extreme liberals, which he is, to get the nomination, and now he's trying to pretend he's a centrist. Oh, and Bush did not. I mean, and, and McCain Go didn't on. do that. He he didn't no. agree with George Bush for eight years on so many things, and now he agrees in lockstep with George Bush. No, he doesn't. He, he has he's crossed does. party lines for twenty years in the Senate versus he the believed, three that Barack Obama has been in. He, he never crossed party lines. He didn't he believe, believe that a woman's right to choose was on. He did not feel that that was something that should have gone away, and now he has changed his mind. His own legislation that he, he put forth in things. terms of having uh, illegal folks and how to take care of them, he's changed his mind on that. The they both Barack have Obama. done. They okay, both have. you know what? I, I, and that's he was my point. against tax cuts for the rich. Now he is for tax cuts for the rich. This is McCain. Well, he was against drilling, offshore drilling. Now he is for offshore he drilling. He should be for offshore drilling because we need it right Don't now. Don't say that we Barack right is a flip-flopper and McCain is not. his own campaign, John McCain has had 20 years to develop his opinions on things. And we Barack, changed Obama, them. Barack Obama has been in the Senate for only three years, and yes. in this election alone has turned his campaign around. And Bush, so you have experience you also. Look what more than doubled. Yes, Put Barack e excuse Obama me, let office. me say this. You all know, and you all know, everybody sitting out there knows that no matter who gets in, your taxes are going up. Let's be yes. realistic. Um, race mongering has been very bad for America. Liberals use it to promote causes that have nothing to do with blacks and, in fact, harm blacks. And the, that excellent lead-in you just gave about um, O.J., I mean, I think that was the moment, having lived near New York City in the 70s and 80s, which was the golden era. It was like Trayvon Martin and Duke Lacrosse case every day. With the O.J. verdict, white America said, that's it, the white guilt bank is shut down. And that ended up being the best thing that ever happened what you to mean? black what are you talking about? I, I meant that mean. no longer... Was being acquitted was, was good for who? Yes, because you had millions of white people watching with the equivalent of what in New York we used to refer to as the Brooklyn juries, who simply would not convict even guilty black criminals, oh, um, not well, innocent black Hold criminals. up, Ms. Coulter, please yes. stop, please stop. If you're going to talk about race, at least, at least know what you're talking about. At least know what you're talking about. How much you know about being black? Well, this isn't and about black, being black. Well, but you just said this is. You just made all these statements about how black people feel. Tell oh, me I how know. you know that. Yeah, you did. This is not a book about black people. Uh -huh. It is a book about white liberals. And I do know, and this is a fact, that uh -huh. once for years, Republican policies on crime and welfare, for example, were called uh -huh. racist. When they finally got implemented after the O.J. verdict, I might add, by Julian crime Giuliani in New York, Reagan and Bush judges overall. Uh -huh. Tens of thousands of black lives were saved. That is a fact. I don't have to know about how to how about being black. Actually, but I know because, because you're you're you're, you're, to be dead. you're 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 what is what are your facts are a little just a little shaky. I mean, you're saying that because black people because <laughs> liberals <laughs> are good. are what because liberals have abandoned black people now because. 
What? I, I don't no, get it. I don't understand. I don't think liberals ever cared about black people. I mean, five minutes after the Civil Rights Act of 64, they start calling everything that has nothing to do with black people a civil rights Wait issue. A Abortion on demand, man. homeless rights. So are you uh, saying that liberals do don't care about black people? Then are you saying Republicans embrace us in a warm, <laughs> yeah. fuzzy... Try blanket? to. We're not embraced back. back but yeah, we tried to. Wait a minute, wait a minute. So the Southern strategy was a white liberal thing? No, it was a Republican West thing. thing. No. And, and also, uh, no, Newt Gingrich calls President Obama the food stamp president. That's not racist? This chapter. Wait a well, you second. Know, listen, that, do you really think that was... Do you believe it was racist for Newt to say... That the president is a food stamp president. Well, well, he wouldn't say that. that. If we could just skip, I'm not a big fan of Newt, so if we could just skip that for a second sure. and get to the Southern strategy, yeah. because I, I've specifically disproved it. It's an absolutely liberal folklore. Um, Republicans were winning the South since 1920. It was the outer states of the South. It was Texas, Tennessee, Black Kentucky, were Virginia. Voting. What are you talking about? We weren't well, allowed who to was vote. Trying to get them to vote? Republicans were. Yeah, and the first, true. and the first Congre Black congressmen were all Republicans. And the first Black governor was a Republican. You're talking about when Way back that after in is so different from yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. That's, that is and definitely hey. what we're told. Uh, but in fact, that bad. the black, the, right. the Democratic segregationists were all liberal Democrats. It is a lie that they were conservative everybody Democrats. Everybody was, was a Jay. segregationist, darling. And then, you know, the basically, they, everybody was. was. White people were. It didn't matter whether they were Republicans or not. Ask your question. The first segregationists. Just Sorry. read chapter 14 in this book. The first I Republicans to be elected in the South. I listen to my grandmother was who was Baker. there, Thank who remembers you. what Howard happened. Howard Baker, an aggressive integrationist, first Republican voted, elected in Tennessee to the Senate. You have Winthrop Rockefeller, first Republican governor in Arkansas. But you know, I have a question Arkansas. about today. Integration. Let me ask you something about what's it, going yeah. on now. It seems to but me... the Southern strategy is a lie. It seems to me that voter there. suppression... Yeah is happening in the areas where black people and Hispanics are, and they really is being promoted by the Republicans, not no. the Democrats. So in my view, and I have a different one from you, it looks as though the Republicans are really going against blacks, not the liberals. No, and this what is a perfect example. Oh, yes, it is, and it's a perfect oh. example. No, I'll explain why, of, of liberals using the label of civil rights to promote a liberal cause they support, i.e. voter fraud. In fact, one of the first states in the union to pass voter ID bills was Rhode Island. Island, 85% Democratic legislature, and who pushed it? A black Democrat in the can, House, a black talk, Democrat you, you in the Senate. That's a fact. No, yeah. Yeah. You may pick out Rhode it's Island, but there are other though. states where it's completely Why Republican Why would black driven? Democrats be pushing this? Because they had seen because voter fraud. Because they want the Hispanic vote sure. to go to Rhode Can I ask a general question? <laughs> Every book that That's you write is very controversial and shocking and it's usually an opinion that's disparate with everybody right, else. Right. Do you just write these books and try to find <laughs> whatever it is that's going to make everybody say... <laughs> That's an excellent question. The reason I write these books is because I try to correct things that people believe that but are just Anne, false. Here's a question and this, is a lot this is a question because I was reading a book. And, 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 and you're the only and, one and, that says but, it. But. But. No, the, well, there are a few sorry. things, I mean, the, discovering well, that we never saying, won Sharon? the Goldwater I'm states and Republicans it. didn't won, win the Dixiecrat states until the Dixiecrats died oh, out. You keep standing back in the past. It. you got to come into the okay. present. But this is what I want to say. That's new to me. You, the we, rest of it other people know. In reading your book, you know, you, you, you keep saying, if you read, if you would read chapter 14, if you would read, well, you, you make such divisive comments and incendiary comments and hateful comments at times. It makes people not want to pick up your book and read it. So I don't people agree with her reading. Yeah, well, people oh, agree yeah. with you. No, I don't think so. You know, name a hateful you, comment in no, here. I, you know, when you talk about you stay in the past, I, that, that Republican No, only because then. it was brought up. There's only one chapter on the past, and, I mean, it's just a but fact. But when you talk about something like you, voter suppression, yeah. which right. obviously is trying to keep black people and Republicans Latinos... they have never well, done that. That was a oh, Democrat in, thing. But, but, and it's in states where they had, they don't even have okay, we, any... Stop. Let me just... Because we're, okay. Right. Can I just say one thing, Dan? No matter what, you sit down here and you've got five women going, what about... Butter, yes. But butter. yes.
Whatever it is, we thank you for coming on. Thank you for having me. Girl to work with now. And I yeah, have. And you're, fun, you're making fun. a cameo later in the season, right? Well, I, is this I, is a strategy? Are you maybe coming back for season nine? Or is there a contract involved here, perhaps? Uh, yes. <laughs> you know, Joy loves to be honey. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm only saying, um, maybe, maybe not. Housewives have been very good to me. Mm -hmm, the mm -hmm. platform has been amazing. It's opened up many doors of opportunity for me. As you can see, lots of girls girls would like to imitate the Nene Leakes brand, okay? But nonetheless, um, she, you'll just have to very wait very modest, sit. isn't she? Yes. She's Look modest. Oh, Nene. Oh, Nene. No wonder you're friends um, with Donald Trump. You <laughs> get the connection. <laughs> she loves Donald. Okay. I, you know, I don't have anything against Donald. No. I like Donald. I know you I, do. I think he's very true to who he is. Mm -hmm. I didn't say I was voting for him, honey. I said I liked him. Uh -huh. Let's, let's okay. talk about this house that you liked, that you just bought. You brought some pictures. Nice. Yes. Um, can we see this amazing house? Where is it? What city? Oh, oh. yes, honey. Yeah. Yes. A little that land. Hair. How many? Yes. How many rooms do you have? Six. As you should. As you yes. should. Six bedrooms. Okay. Well, where's yes. the furniture, Nene? <laughs> well, oh, you're there, but where's well, the furniture? Well, they told me to. I didn't want to show you guys pictures of my furniture, so that we gave pictures of you guys to you guys that when we well, just bought the house. Chris Why? Brown taught us that. Yes. So Why can't we, we see your furniture? She got it. Because, honey, we have to have security measures. Oh. Mm. But you're showing the house. I showed the outside. And I'm behind many gates with security. Right. <laughs> How would the front... Uh, <laughs> Well, it's not like my house isn't online. Yeah. My house, <laughs> I mean, yeah. it's not like yeah. it's not online and pictures aren't floating around from the day I ever closed on the house. Do you get a lot of stalkers? Well, we've had a few, yeah. but we live behind gates and we do have security. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Are Just, you still having a good time? I am still having a good time and actually stepping away from Housewives for a little while, I felt like I was getting back to me, yeah. getting back to doing some of the things I enjoy doing, yeah. just having a good time with some of my real girlfriends. You always wanted to be an actor, right? Yes. This was your, that was your passion. That was always and my part thing. why yes. you did the so show. So now you're in the yes. show. Yes, yeah. I'm in Chicago, right. right. Congratulations. And how's that been? This is your, it's your second time on Broadway. This is your second time on Broadway. How's that been for you? This is my second time on Broadway. The first time I was in Cinderella, I absolutely mm -hmm. loved it. This time I'm in Chicago, I'm playing Matron Mama Morton, which was made famous by Queen Latifah. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, mm -hmm. in the movie. In the movie. And um, I absolutely, I'm loving it. I love Broadway. The schedule is tough. It is tough. It's a tough schedule to work, but I love it. I love it. Can you give us an example of your of your vocals, your pipe? Well, Can you sing for us, please? I mean, me, 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 me. yourself. <laughs> Joy, I cannot with Joy. Isn't she something? Yeah. Yes. Are you guys having Come a good time working together? On us? Is that the first on, time you've ever got... So what's the one conclusion I can bring this number to? A lot of them have to do with the policies, a lot of them have to do with what's going on in their countries mm -hmm. um, and the lack of support from Mexico. It's a much bigger problem. Well, but to just shoo her out and expect that someone like Stephen Miller or someone that's going to be tougher is going to solve the problem. I don't know the what problem, they're going to do to the, these kids. What, what's fascinating to me is that um, I, I believe she sold her soul because she did become the face of separating babies from their parents. We now know that it's going to take about two years to even find out the true extent of this horror, uh, you know, because thousands of children were separated from their families. What I don't understand is uh, FBI Director Christopher Wray, he testified that homegrown white supremacist extremists pose the biggest threat to U.S. security, despite True. President Trump's indications to the contrary. But they like President Trump. Trump seems to keep on that's saying... His, that's his constituents. Yes, but President Trump mm -hmm. keeps on saying that these people from Mexico, mm -hmm. from Nicaragua, from El Salvador are the biggest threat to U.S. security. No, those aren't the biggest threats. No. The biggest threats are our own homegrown white supremacists that are threatening mm -hmm. our right. security. I and I just don't understand why he's not concentrated uh, yeah. on that. Yeah. 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 
Some of the hundreds of yeah. thousands of people. Because he knows that, that oh. that's not going to work with his base. That's Go ahead. Well, I think it's important to separate a lot of different things. I'm from a border state, and immigration is always ground zero for where these conversations are happening. Um, President Obama's DHS Secretary Jay Johnson said, we are truly in a crisis. There were 4,000 apprehensions in a single day. I know that 1,000 overwhelms the system, and I can't even begin to imagine what the 4,000 a day looks like. Last month alone, we had 100,000 migrants that were apprehended at the southwestern border. That's the highest number in over a decade. So there is a crisis at the border. How to deal with it is where the, the conversation right. goes one way or the other. Right. He ran meat and potatoes on the economy and immigration. As you said, he has not fulfilled some of these promises that he has made. What I think is interesting is Lou Dobbs said two weeks ago that he wanted Kirsten Nielsen to be fired. He said Kirsten Nielsen is flailing and her department appears utterly paralyzed under ineffectual leadership. So the question, too, is if people like Lou Dobbs and Laura Ingram are dictating policy mm-hmm. and who has a job in the White House and who mm-hmm. doesn't, at this point, why don't you just make Lou Dobbs the person in charge of this since this is the person it seems mm-hmm. that you are listening to when it comes well, to this? That being said, just one question. more thing. Yeah. This is a hard line issue for people who live in border states. Uh-huh. Many friends of mine, this is the number one and only issue. And if we sit here and act like there isn't a crisis, that it's just it's crazy people living in border states that think that there's a crisis at like, a winning like I ticket just said, for Trump Like I just forward. said, this guy who's coming in wants to help those countries. Mm-hmm. That's the way to solve the problem. Keep them there happy or whatever. Solve them. Give them a house. Give them food. Help them. Help their mm-hmm. children. Give a Stop, the, cri- a, Stop a the crime rates. Well, we've had a I'm bunch talking of liberal guests helping. who do not Hold want on. to send in aid I at listen all. to you. Let me just finish. <laughs> yeah, part of your job is to listen to me. Okay, so here's the deal. Here's what's here's what's not going to happen today. We're not going to do this. Everybody gets a conversation piece. Everybody gets to say their piece. And we don't need to comment if we don't like what we're hearing. Just let folks talk. Yeah. So finish what you're saying. I forgot what it was now. All right. Ew. Uh, like JK, but like maybe not. But thank you for watching. But you hating ass bitches always have something to say. Hating ass bitch, but you're still watching my vids. What? 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 <laughs> you're so upset. But that's like okay because have a piece of bread, have a Xanax, relax because I said what I said.